Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Um, I've decided I'm going to start doing a little series of random quickies. Um, just no more than five or ten minutes, just random crafty ideas that um, I think might be fun to show you. So today I'm going to show you how I turned this pile of paper unwanted random patterned paper that I couldn't even get um, Macy to take off my hands. <laughs> Um, but I couldn't bear to throw it, we'll just put it in the recycling. So I turned it into, I've started turning it into things I can actually use. So um, I've used my, uh, I've got one of these envelope makers. I used to use a template, I had like a stencil thing. Or you can just um, open up an old envelope and, and do it. Just use that as a template. So I've turned, I've got a whole pile of um, envelopes. Ooh ready to go I had a lot of random ones like this kind of odd shapes and sizes a lot of them were free in scrapbook magazines and I've had them for years so where they were suitable I've just cut them into sizes to fit sort of standard cards I might make later and I will put them um, with my paper stash ready to go where they're not suitable for envelopes or for card backgrounds but I still think it's a bit of a shame to throw them away I'll probably keep them in my collage drawer so very very little has actually gone in my recycling bin in the end so far but I've still got a few to go the other thing the thing that I've enjoyed the most that I wanted to come and show you today is these gift bags now most of these were from the free from magazine papers like these so I've got a couple left and I thought I'd show you how I, how I made them. Um, so I mean, so they're cute, they're really sweet. They look lovely as a gift bag, but I just thought I'm not gonna use them on a card and, I, and I'm not gonna, I don't do much scrapbooking anymore really. And that, I mean, like, you know, lovely as a cup, but I don't know what else I would do with it. Lovely as a bag. So these don't work very well with the very heavy papers, but they are perfect with the ones with the, the um, thin scrap, fruit, scrapbook magazine type paper. So um, I'm going to switch you. Oops, I'm going to switch you down to the desk. Put a bit more light on the subject. I'll show you how I made these. Really, really simple. All I use was I've, I've got my scissors. Can be quite useful if you're making a tall thin bag to have something long and pokey like that. I've got that to help me. To, I've got my my double sided tape and this to help me get the backing paper off the double sided tape and a bone folder. So it, for each one, I just looked at the shape of the paper that I had and worked out the best way to do it. Now this one, um, just cut that raggedy end off. This one I could could have gone either way, tall and thin or short and fat. So I'll do a short fat one with this. And I didn't do any measuring or anything. I'm just folding this to, I don't know, just over halfway. Really, honestly, doesn't matter. So folding it, lining up these edges. A lot of these papers had one edge quite raggedy where I tore, tore it out of the magazine. So that will be my base. So I'm lining up these good edges. And then I'm folding it over. So this just overlaps this by about, well, just slightly more than the width of the double-sided tape I'm going to use. Again, crucial. This is so quick and it'll be such an excellent, you know, you could put little gifts in them. You could use them for party bags for kids. When I do a craft fair, when we're ever allowed to do craft fairs again, I could use it um, as nice little unique bags to put my little goodies in. And it's all paper that otherwise I just didn't know what I was going to do with that. As I said, I didn't even give it away to Macy, my granddaughter Macy, for the for the kids to play with. She'd already got too much, she said, and uh, I'd want to send her home with a whole load of tricks she doesn't, she doesn't need. I'm sure her mum wouldn't thank me for that. Right, so that's that. And then you just, this is going to become the bottom of the bag. That's why I'm using the raggedy edge there. And you just fold it up. 
the bigger this space, the bigger the base of the bag will end up being. Um, so then when I've made the fold, I just open it out here and then flatten it. It's a bit like origami, just flatten that out. And I'm lining up the crease here. I'm lining up with this. Turn it around, do the same thing on this side. And I just sat and did loads of these while I was binge watching Star Trek or something. Nice and easy and relaxing to do. Now, ideally, you want to fold this so that you get a nice, um, sort of fairly even diamond shape there. Just makes it, it doesn't matter if it does come out wonky, it'll still work. But So that won't show. This has got a slightly raggedy edge, so I'm just going to trim it off. Probably don't really need to bother, that's me just being pernickety. And then a bit of tape to this flap. I always burnish the tape down like this because it makes the backing paper easier to come off and I think it helps to make it stay stuck better. Oh. It's also a good idea to get you using up some of this because some of this double sided tape I've had for a really long time and it needs using up. So once I've done that you could just use it like that but I think it's better if you take this extra step. So I'm just unfolding this so that it kind of um, folds that diamond in half. Okay, it really isn't crucial. But I just think it, it's nice to give it a good neat finish. Okay, so I've done that on both sides and now I'm going to kind of open them out again. And just gently open out those creases. And then I'm reversing the folds here so that I'm tucking that back in to create a gusset to the bag. <coughs> Excuse me, a bit coarse this morning. Busy day in the shop yesterday. <laughs> no, my voice sore, my throat sore. There we go. So I've just folded that all back down, and you get this lovely, neat finish. Quite right, good. There we go. When I come to use it, I'll just open it out. And you could like punch a hole there, put ribbons through it. Um, you could use a circle puncher, make a little thumb hole. And you could even um, um, join all these together and make one of those paper bag albums. Actually thinking about it, I might even try that because I've got plenty of them. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, um, I've got this whole, but all of the, I mean, these are things that I don't know what I ever would have done with that paper, but what a cute little bag to give as a, a gift for a, a little boy. Or a big boy, even. <laughs> um, so when you get one of these papers, you, um, you've just got to be aware that if there's a certain way up that it needs to be, that one, I, I couldn't make it into a... Well, it would annoy me if the cameras were going the wrong way. So with these ones, I just folded the other way. So it become a long, thin bag. It's still ideal for, you know, you can still fill it with sweeties or whatever. So I will stash these away and gradually use them up instead of adding them to the recycling bin, which would have been a terrible shame. Um... I probably don't need to go on and show you the rest of this other one. Um, but when you come to do the folding, the pushing out the corners later, this is where this comes in it, to help you get down to the corners. If you, you know, if it's too fiddly, just cut the top off and make it less tall, you know. But I'm trying to keep these really short, so I'm not going to go on with them anymore. Um, I have still got, in that original pile that I showed you, I've still got all of these. And I've decided, I think the heavier weight double-sided ones like this, I'm going to make um, a mini album with. And I've got, I'm going to follow my own, I made a tutorial myself on YouTube, oh, several years ago now when we did a mini book for um, 
a charity event raising funds for breast cancer but um the video is still there so i'm going to follow my own video and make a couple of mini albums out of this um, and i will leave a link to that tutorial below um some of them some of these are the thinner papers that will end up being large envelopes or more more goodie bags so what i'll do is i'll carry on working through that and i will come back at the end and either film or just show a still photograph of everything that i've ended up with from this random pile of papers that was otherwise going in the recycling hello me again i've just come back quickly to show you what i ended up with um let's put you straight onto the desk cam because i want to try and keep these little films short um so here's my huge pile of um cute gift bags that i've made so these will either be used for you know presents for friends and things or, or i can use them when when uh, when we ever get to do craft fairs again or perhaps i'm thinking of starting up my etsy shop again so i might um they would be really good for sending things off uh, from my Etsy shop. I've got a big old stack of envelopes, which I used my envelope maker for that I showed you earlier. But I, before I had that, I used to just open out an, an existing envelope and use it as a template. You can totally do that. Um, I also made a couple of albums following my own tutorial, uh, the one I mentioned that I did years ago. I've rechristened that um, something like Higgledy Piggledy mini album tutorial. Also, I, I will link it below. Um, I simplified it for these. I didn't do the more complicated pages like the pop-up ones and things, but um, I think it came out really fun. And considering this is a complete hodgepodge of papers that I was just, I was just going to chuck away or give, the, give to the kids to scribble on. I think that's really fun. I really like it. A couple of the paper bags ended up as pages. <laughs> Um, so that's one, this is the other. Yeah, I think they're really cute. Just put photos in there. They've got little, um, lots of little tuck spots and, um, gonna get that little hidden, little hidden, uh, tabs and cards and things to, to add photos and journaling and stuff. So yeah, they're really fun. Quite nice to do either for yourself or, or to give as a gift. I use my bind it all. Um, but in the tutorial I do give a few ideas for other ways you could um, put the book together if you don't have a bind it all. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Oh, and there's also somewhere, I don't know what I've done with them, but I've kept a little stash of pieces ready um, for card backgrounds, which I think I've already showed you. So out of that pile of papers that I really didn't know what to do with, I've made all of this and I'm really, really pleased. Um, going back up to uh, so thanks very much for watching today and i will see you again really soon bye